Hi, my name is Danielle Russell and I'm an intern with the Adams County Historical Society and this is one of my absolute favorite monuments to research because I do have a genealogical connection to it and so I absolutely love being here and I'm so excited that I get to share this story with you all. So the interesting thing about this monument that a lot of people don't realize is in regards to the soldier that you see on the top. And when I've talked to people about this monument in the past, they've kind of looked at the coat that the soldier's wearing and they've wondered why the texture is the way that it is. And the reason for that is because the sculptor really wanted to highlight the usefulness of the soldier's face. So by adding the pattern to the coat, it really contrasts the usefulness. Most of the soldiers that served in the 145th Pennsylvania were incredibly young when they enlisted. The majority of them were under the age of 25 and quite a few of them enlisted when they were still 17. So it's really, really important to the sculptor that he conveys that. And when the regiment was planning the design for the monument and the sculpture of the soldier specifically, they really wanted it to be a common soldier or the idea of a common soldier rather than a specific soldier. And that is why there is the usefulness in the face and the body itself to try and embody that. And another thing that's interesting about this sculpture and the statue in general is the state seal of Pennsylvania. And the reason that's there is because the state of Pennsylvania gave $1,500 in order for this monument to be created, and so that is why the seal is there. 